Janelle, this is historic and controversial change in the armed services aimed at breaking down gender barriers. Defense Secretary Ash Carter is giving the military to January 1st to submit its plans. The order means women will now be allowed to drive tanks, fire mortars, and lead infantry into combat. They'll also be able to serve as Army Rangers, Green Berets, Navy SEALs, and Air Force Parajumpers, plus anything else that was previously open only to men. This means that as long as they qualify and meet the standards, women will now be able to contribute to our mission in ways they could not before. Critics include the Marine Corps, which wants some exceptions, and Republicans in Congress citing studies that show male units are more capable than mixed gender units. Barbara Barr, News 8. In Washington, Senate Republicans have used their majority to outvote Democrats on a bill to end Planned Parenthood's federal funding. Today's vote also comes as the Senate moves toward approval of a bill that would all but repeal the president's health care law. The House is expected to send the bill to President Obama in the coming days, but he's expected to veto it. In a 